All right, so we are like a week and a half into the league and I've got recommended like three or four videos now that say, hey, easiest way to get six links in Path of Exile, check this out. So I watched them and I've honestly got a bit of a bone to pick because I was watching these videos and I expected every single one of them to say the exact same thing first but none of them really did. And I felt like I was kind of going crazy because all the videos are gonna tell you things like, you know, okay, you can use tainted fusings or you can run vol side zones. You can do all this different stuff. You can use anything that you want to, right? They're talking about like linking the six link yourself and stuff like that. And I'm sitting there, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why has no one, not a single soul just said, go on the trade website and buy the six link that you need. You literally go on the trade website, you go six links, you type in the colors you need if you want. Say you wanted like an armor evasion six link, right? You click search, and if you don't want a corrupted one, you could do a corrupted one if you want. You hit no corrupted, five chaos, five chaos, five chaos, five chaos. Why, why, why? In the first couple of days in the league, these are maybe like 30 or 50 chaos, but the vast majority of people that watch these videos aren't even in maps by like day three or day four. So by the time that they're getting to the point where they actually need a six link, you can just go on the trade website and buy it for like 15, 20 chaos. There is absolutely no reason that anyone, if you're trying to be the most efficient with your time, should be going and doing anything but just farming up the currency and buying a six link. Now, if you're the type of person who is like struggling to make currency early on in the league, it is probably the easiest that it's ever been to just log into the game, play some maps and make currency. It's, it's literally the easiest I think it's ever been. And I'm gonna give you a pretty foolproof way to make some super basic currency and I'm gonna tell you in like a minute, all right? You go to your Atlas tree, you choose all the essence nodes, all right? After you choose all the essence nodes, you're gonna go around and choose all of the legion nodes, mostly the ones that are on the bottom right. After you do that, you're going to either choose the Searing Exarch altar nodes or you're going to choose the Eater of Worlds altar nodes. Don't take these big ones because these are super dangerous. If you can handle them, you probably don't need this video. After that, you're going to go grab this node that's called Stream of Consciousness, wherever it is. I think it's over here. Stream of Consciousness makes it so that your maps cannot be modified by fragments, but your maps have 50% more base chance to contain extra content. You run around, you kill some essence mobs. If you see a big essence mob that has like the purple shiny ones on it, you use the essence of corruption, potentially upgraded into the essences that sell for 15 to 20 chaos each, and you go and you take those, you sell them on the trade website, and you buy a six link. For the Legion stuff, if you get a single Marraketh emblem, that's a six link. If you get two Templar emblems, that's a six link. If you get four of any of the other emblems, that's a six link. There's a notable on the tree that gives you a chance for just a full emblem to drop. This happens an actual decent amount of the time if you do a lot of these. That is an easy six link. With the altars, um, I personally do Searing XR because I think it's better. If you grab the Light of Dawn as well as the Word of the Exarch, you can get these modifiers in your map sometimes on these altars that say, hey, a bunch of enemies will have a really good chance to drop either like Searing Exarch currency or Chaos Orbs or even Divine Orbs if you get super lucky. Just kill a couple enemies, take this currency, and go buy your six link. I can guarantee you that you can go out, farm a whole bunch of currency, buy a six link, buy an, a couple essences to craft it, and then do whatever you got to, make it the right colors, do whatever else you need, and have a six link significantly faster than any of those other methods of like going and doing vol side zones, or going to try and farm legion for the six link incubators, or going and farming divination cards, or using tainted fusings which are super expensive compared to other options, or heaven forbid you actually try to six link something yourself with fusing orbs. Just flex your capitalism a little bit. Path of Exile is a capitalism simulator. In this game, time is money, money is power, and power feels really good. So flex that power a little bit and just go buy a six link. If you're enjoying this video or it ends up helping you out, consider supporting me and my content by giving this video a like and subscribing down to the YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest videos. And one extra thing that I actually didn't see anybody talk about, but if somebody did, sorry, the thing about it is, is that if you're using like a slightly off meta build and you are say using like a two handed melee weapon or like a staff, if you're a caster or something like that, and you want an easy seven link, there's a pretty easy way about going about it. So this works easier for casters who don't really care too much about the stats on their weapon. Cause if you're a melee build, most of your damage is centered around whether or not your weapon is good. So you have to know how to like either essence craft or in some way craft a new weapon. So you're going to go and you're going to buy six links same way that I 
told you earlier, get the correct colors, craft it up, make sure that it's good. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to PUEDB, right? You're gonna go to PUEDB, you're gonna scroll down here, and you're gonna search for weapon passives. So we'll talk about, I don't know, say you are using uh, two-handed axes as your thing. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll all the way down until you get to tier four modifiers, okay? And once we get to tier four modifiers, you're gonna find something that says socketed gems are supported by X skill. So you're gonna look through this list, you're gonna see, huh, which one of these can I actually use? Like say your build really could use melee splash or something like that, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the trade website, you're gonna come over here, you're gonna type in crucible uh, melee splash, right? Because that's the gem that you want for some reason. I think it's the second one. I don't know which one it is. I think there's one for like one hands and one for two hands. You come over here, you need two handed axes, right? Is what you wanted. So you've got that. You're going to hit search and you're going to find probably a decent amount that has the thing that you're looking for. Socketed gems are supported by level 10 melee splash. You're going to buy up a bunch of these. And the way that you're going to go about it is you're going to use those igneous geos that you find from the crucible mechanic and you're going to slam those weapons together until you get the modifier on your new nice crafted six link sword easy seven link it's not as easy as the six link but i mean it shouldn't be because it's a seven link right and if you get some other positive mods like uh maybe you need some attack speed or something like that or whatever else then that's great and now you've got a seven link and crucible is saved right and that is going to be it for the video i just needed to rant about that hopefully you learned something because it, it was just it was just kind of upsetting me that no one was saying the most obvious thing. Because the thing about it is, is that we as more experienced Path of Exile players tend to overlook the very fundamental basics sometimes when we're making like guides or videos explaining stuff. Because there is a ton of new people or a ton of people who are like coming back to the game who watch these videos and they don't think about these kinds of things. So if you enjoyed this content or this video helped you out, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest videos and stay safe out there in Ray class. And I'll see you guys in the next video.